هذه السحابة سبحان الله لا إله إلا الله حصلتها في المزارع في بدع فارس يعني ما بيني وبينها إلا خمسة أمتار الحين ترد على السيارة هذه قدر إلهية سبحان الله نزلت الأرض الحين فأنا مستعجب صراحة ممكن حد يصدق أو ما حد يصدق أنها تسحابة الحين طاحت في الأرض ونجبت في الشبك إلى كيف هذا؟ اتقسمت إلى أجزاء. الحين جزء طاح منها ودخل داخل المزارع. سحابة غريبة. اشتلت. فأنا اليوم صراحة مستغرب المنطقة هذه. أشياء غرايب فيها أشوفها. الحين طلعت فوق. هل تصدق يا أخي؟ الله امططط شكل الانسان <تصفيق> الحين بصور هذا انا ما انزل بتصور انا في الجاه شوف تعال جو التليفون هذا شوف ها جود هذا شوف جود جود ايوه شوف هنا هذا 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 شوف شوف ايوه شكرا يا رفيق شكرا عجائب الدنيا ما تاك في السماء يا ريت انها تتفاضح Hi everyone, welcome back to Skywatch Media News. This is the final week of June 2017. Have you heard the latest news from the scientific community? Astrophysicists from the University of Arizona have compelling evidence which suggests that a planetary object with a Mars to Earth mass is most likely lurking in the solar system. This object would be much closer than the so-called Planet 9 which is still awaiting confirmation from astronomers. The orbital body has given away its presence by observations which show that it is presently controlling the orbital plane of the Kuiper belt in the outer regions of our solar system. The Kuiper belt lies beyond the orbit of Neptune, where a host of icy bodies and dwarf planets dwell. So the unseen mass would have to be equivalent to the mass of Mars or Earth to be capable of warping the orbital plane of the outer solar system. According to calculations, an object with the mass of Mars or Earth orbiting roughly 60 AU from the Sun, or an orbit that is tilted by 8 degrees to the plane of the known planets, would have the required gravitational influence to warp the orbital plane of the outer solar system. An AU, in astronomical terms, is the equivalent of approximately 95 million miles, the distance from the Earth to the Sun. So take 60 and multiply it by the 95 million, and you can see just how many miles from the Sun we are talking about here. And yet this object has the capability of warping the orbital plane of the belt for as far as 10 AU on either side. 
And then we are talking about something quite extraordinary here. We continue to get information in bits and pieces from the scientific community pertaining to new discoveries in our solar system. Every few months we get announcements from NASA and other space organizations that new planets and star systems have been discovered in our backyard. If there is something of significant importance to tell the world, then the disclosure must be slow and precise as a means to get out in front of the story before it becomes too obvious to the watchful eye. For decades the public has been told that there is nothing out there. There is no planet X or any other rogue planet that exists in our solar system. That is what they told us and they made sure that the media reported in the same manner. But everything has changed now. They can no longer control what is happening. As things become more obvious to the public, then the truth can no longer be kept in the dark. So expect more announcements from NASA very soon, as things are really getting serious. They know it, we know it, and time has a way of revealing all things. There is a lot of anticipation for the big event that will happen later this summer. On August 21st, a major solar eclipse will pass over half of the planet. But the interesting details of this particular eclipse is that the path of its totality will bring total darkness to only one country, the United States. Solar eclipses have long been considered as harbingers of disasters for the Gentile nations. For those of you who follow the words of Scripture, this particular passage may hold great meaning in correlation to the upcoming eclipse. Now, I am not an interpreter of the spoken word, but if you study these words carefully, you may notice that the timing of this passage appears to be quite concise. So what is the correlation between this passage of Scripture and the major solar eclipse of 2017? There is something unprecedented and extraordinary that will take place on August 21st. When the sun rises on this date in the United States, it will do so in total darkness. So that you may understand, the sun will be totally dark when it rises above the horizon on that date. This event would then relate to the ending verses of the passage in Isaiah, an exact correlation if the event happens as anticipated. If this scripture holds any meaning to you, then this eclipse would have to be the one that occurs prior to the actual day of the Lord, which will happen during the Feast of Trumpets in September. It cannot be interpreted any other way. Now, if anyone has any doubts about the significance of this solar event, then take a look at how this event will play out. This map indicates the precise route of this major summer event. As you can see, it will cross over the heartland of the United States from the northwest to the southeast. The focus of this event will be squarely over the United States, which makes this an exceptionally rare occurrence in historical terms for this country. The total eclipse of 2017 will be visible from a narrow corridor, which makes the eclipse even more interesting, as you can see here. The path of the August eclipse crosses the path of the upcoming eclipse of April 2024, which is almost seven years to the date. Does the number seven sound familiar to you? It is the time of the day of the Lord as described in the book of Revelation. These two eclipses are therefore placing a huge emphasis on the United States. So stay tuned folks, there are some interesting times ahead of us. If you spend time searching the internet on the subject of Planet X, you're bound to come upon a number of essays and articles that explain a possible catastrophe scenario 
caused by extraterrestrial sources, such as a Planet 9, or a large brown dwarf planet, which is basically a failed star. There have been several scientific studies floating around that are attempting to find evidence of its existence beyond Neptune. But since scientists remain in disagreement on whether the planet actually exists, the matter hasn't garnered much attention lately. So the theory of a Planet 9 may have gone silent in the short term, but the notion that something is out there lurking in our solar system is still very much alive. After all, something is affecting the entire solar system and potentially threatening our planet. And so an explanation must be forthcoming. It is very likely that scientists have been playing a game of deceit when they talk about Planet Nine. Depending on who is conducting the study, the planet is either very real and it is creating a warp pull in the solar system, or it is still a hypothetical planet. So how can both be true? How many times have we heard critics say that if the planet were on a collision course with Earth, it would be seen by now? And yet these same people have never been able to rule out the likelihood of its existence. Here is an interesting statistic that you may not be aware of. According to the Stern Review on the Economics of Climate Change, a report which was conducted for the British government in 06, people are five times more likely to perish in an extinction-level event than by any other means known to man. Therefore, the risk of human extinction due to a major calamity, whether that be man-made, natural, or extraterrestrial, could be much higher than anyone would have ever imagined. Every year there is a higher risk of a supervolcano erupting or an asteroid strike on the planet. Both would be devastating at ground zero, but they would also kick up dust into the atmosphere, blocking sunlight and causing global temperatures to plunge. But these are not the only risks that we are facing. What about a genetically engineered pandemic? or geoengineering gone awry. Statistical models are showing, whether we agree with them or not, that the planet could see an extraterrestrial event in the form of a hazardous near-Earth object in our lifetime. Now these models also mention calamities caused by a rogue planet, like Nibiru or Planet X. As I mentioned at the beginning, something very odd is going on beyond Pluto. Astronomers have known for decades that something exists at the outer edge of the solar system in the vicinity of the Kuiper Belt. But unlike most of the planets and asteroids which orbit between Mars and Jupiter, there are a handful of objects which have weird orbits, which we call elongated paths around the Sun. It's possible that we are being programmed for the apocalyptic catastrophe in our future. All of this death obsession and disaster that we speak of may be part of the galactic cycle, the cycle of life that includes death. When the consciousness becomes aware of this, we begin to see the earth change and global catastrophes occur. Take a look around you. This is exactly what is happening now. On the flip side, we have learned that while catastrophes of the extinction level have come and gone, life always has a way of coming back to the planet. The story of catastrophe and regeneration is part of complexity theory, and we realize the Earth is in constant renewal. From chaos comes order and the replenishment of the Earth. What is written in the book of the Apocalypse is the cyclical nature of our existence and the cyclical appearance of Nemesis and Planet X. Astronomers say that an encounter with Nemesis 
will alter the magnetic polarity of the sun, will cause massive solar flares, and create earthquakes that will move the axis of the earth. But scientists say that we should not be worried, as it appears that Nemesis has escaped the gravitational pull of our sun, and has wandered far away into the Milky Way galaxy, never to be found again. Or will it? Something is causing significant changes on our planet. According to the American Meteorite Society, since 2005, Earth has seen an increase in asteroid activity of over 800 percent. Since January, there have been more near misses of large asteroids that cross between the Earth and the Moon than at any other time on record. Extinction models such as the Stern Review include the possibility of a nemesis or Planet X cataclysm here on Earth. Can anyone explain why this is so? There is also the oddity of all the talk about Kepler planets being discovered. NASA in their infinite wisdom are more than happy to tell us about their recent discoveries and their potential for habitat, but they choose to remain silent about any theory that involves the existence of Planet X, and for a very good reason. On the last day of the year, 1983, the chief scientist for the IRIS satellite announced to the world the discovery of Planet X. It was actually published in six different daily publications. Shortly thereafter, the media controllers clamped down on that story and forced the establishment to retract their announcement. In other words, the planet went silent. Since that time, the controllers have concocted simplistic stories to explain away the report of the uh, perturbations of the outer planets that led to the discovery in the first place. It was all a misunderstanding. Only the latest controlled scopes could have seen Planet X, but when smaller observatories began spotting something unusual in 2001, they came out and announced that they had found the largest asteroid in history. Little did the world know that what these observatories had found was not a giant asteroid, but rather the elusive Planet X. But rather than tell the world of an overwhelmingly important story that has great implications for humanity, sadly they chose to do nothing, until which time it would be upon us and finally seen by the whole world. The controllers of NASA and its insiders are fully aware of this, the disruption of Earth could change your view of ancient history. Societies of old reached a pinnacle of development many times before, only to be put back in technical and evolutionary time by the wrecking ball of Planet X. If you know anything about the sunken cities that have been discovered in locations around the world, this would indicate that something catastrophic took place in our ancient history. It seems that much of what was known in these times, the mysterious reasons for lost civilizations, just disappeared into folklore and myths as societies began to pick up the pieces and rebuild as they had done throughout many generations of time. For all of the criticism being spent on this, it does not inhibit the theorists who are convinced that Planet X is out there and its wrecking ball is coming our way. If in fact it does exist, it will manifest itself at the appropriate time, and it will rid the world of any doubt. But be careful what you may wish for, because its arrival will be vengeful and merciless to the world. So stay safe, be mindful of your surroundings, and keep looking to the sky.